So I think we need to remember that kids are not necessarily small versions of adults. They have an entirely kind of very, under, to some degree, underdeveloped body system and how they handle drugs, chemicals, even the ability to breathe. You know, they breathe at a much more rapid pace than, uh, than adults do. So how they handle marijuana smoke certainly would play into the fact that perhaps there is an increased toxicity for them. There's a smaller body, smaller lung space, but they do tend to breathe a little bit more rapidly than adults. So there is the possibility that they could have an increased risk of toxicity from marijuana smoke. What does that mean? Yeah, so that's a great question. So increased risk of toxicity. So, you know, their body potentially can concentrate it. Um, marijuana smoke, even though it comes from a plant, doesn't necessarily mean that it's safe. You know, not, not everything that's natural is safe. Many of our chemotherapy drugs come from natural products as well, just to give an example. Um, but they may have an in increased risk of uh, you know, increased heart rate, okay, for one. And they may also develop some what we call altered mental status, so a little bit of confusion, disorientation. And of course, in a child of two to three years of age, it may be very hard to tell what exactly that looks like, you know, because they can't verbalize, they can't communicate how they feel. But oftentimes you can tell they have this glazed over look over their, their eyes, um, just maybe acting slightly different than is usual for them. And so, um, I, I don't want you to speculate, but for a, a parent, um, a, these parents were telling me, you know, they had no idea that this was going on. Mm -hmm. um, would this be, I mean, hard to pick up on if, if they were getting a contact high or was this something you <coughs> would be able to tell right away? So you got to keep in mind, you know, when it comes to inhalation or breathing in marijuana smoke, even secondhand, the effects really only last as long as you're being exposed to the substance and then for a short time afterwards. So if they were experiencing symptoms days later, it might make me think there might be something else going on and it may not be related to the marijuana. So at that point in time, you know, of the exposure while they're being exposed to it, there is the possibility that they were having that high. Now, could they show up positive for marijuana? That's a big question. And we have looked at studies in the past, and at least in grown adults, that secondhand smoke can cause a measurable level of marijuana in the urine. But the important point to clarify here is that oftentimes that level that is measured is below the level of detection for many urine drug screens. The reason being is because there are many substances out there, even prescription medications, that could cause a false positive or register on the marijuana drug screen. So that's to kind of allow room, some, you know, some room for error to prevent more people uh, showing a positive that truly are not positive for marijuana. So it's fair to say these kids could be tested, could come up negative, but could have still been exposed? That's true, yes.